Hey, I'm Victor Lucas, and welcome to the 2017 Rocket and Raygun Awards. This category is all about the best strategy game of the year. First up, let's hear from some members of the EPN family. Not a ton of strategy games being released these days, but boy, Mario plus Rabbids was an amazing one. I think that's gonna get my vote for 2017. I had a lot of fun with this game. It's like turn-based, it's like XCOM Mario, weirdly deep for a Mario strategy game, but also accessible. And that's a hard thing to do with strategy games, to make them both deep and accessible, to appeal to strategy fans and to appeal to casual fans, people who might just know Mario or the Rabbids, but not know the genre. This managed to bridge those gaps beautifully. Uh, congratulations, Ubisoft, best strategy game of 2017 for me. I really can't believe the chocolate and peanut butter of Mario and Rabbids. <laughs> went together somehow but uh mario plus rabbit's kingdom battle it's like it really was it's like xcom with mario and also rabbits and it just sounds so so silly and stupid but it's i just love that i, I love those i love turn-based uh strategy games like that i love i love that kind of those kind of mechanics and to have those mechanics with a whole bunch of my favorite characters in it too is just you know that's that's really all i'm asking for in a strategy game play two Two strategy games. I'm sure there were a handful, but I don't have that much time anymore. All I do is sit at home and play video games. Uh, so the one that I voted for uh, between Halo Wars 2 and Mario vs. Rabbids was Mario vs. Rabbids. Come on. You had to be Mario. The Switch crushed it this year, especially with games involving characters based on Nintendo characters. Good job, Nintendo. Way to support your console. Now we've worked with some cool friends to make some pretty fun content this year. We asked them for their picks for best strategy game of 2017. Now, when I think of strategy games this year, no game says it better than Fire Emblem by Nintendo and Intelligent Systems. This game blew me away. It's on the 3DS. I couldn't believe it. it's a remake of the Gaiden game on the Famicom back in the day. I play this game, I played the ever-loving crap out of it. The one thing I really enjoyed was going into dungeons with a third-person perspective. I really enjoyed that where you would encounter enemies in real time and do real-time battles and that was a lot of fun. The strategy elements are really well implemented in this game and live up to past Fire Emblem games and hopefully some of the future ones to come. Best strategy, I you know, I am not one of you PC nerds over here on your Excels and seeing what's happening with Minesweeper. So I gotta go Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Had a lot of fun with that. Uh, I am an XCOM fan from what I know on the consoles. So getting that on the Switch, having it, again, like, what a weird pairing. Of, first off, the Rabbids, which I, I've never cared about. Plus Mario, you're like, that's a weird jumping in the game. But you got in there and you're like, you know what, there's a deep system here. There's a lot of cool mechanics, and I enjoyed playing through that for that reason. The best strategy game of 2017 to me would be Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I know that there was the XCOM expansion and I know that there was a Fire Emblem game that I absolutely love, uh, but there's just something so novel about that game actually being good that I think gave it a little, uh, some extra points there. And I had a lot of fun with it and I feel while it took a, a bit long to really get going, once you get into the later chapters, it's super challenging and it's a lot of fun. And we work with the EPN sponsor community to find out what their picks were for best strategy game of the year. Best strategy game. Uh, that one I'm going to give to Mario and Rabbids, mainly because it's the first time a strategy game has ever even caught my attention. So definitely best strategy goes to Mario and Rabbids. My favorite strategy game of 2017 has to go to Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Not only it actually made me like the Rabbids, which I basically hate, but it's also a very sound strategy game with a lot of interesting mechanics. Not only it's a really good game, but it's by far the biggest surprise of 2017. Now, Clayton Blair decided not to make a video as one of our EPN sponsors there, but he wrote in and said Halo Wars 2 is his pick for best strategy game of the year. My pick for best strategy game of 2017 is also Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle because it's super fun and it's a super cool surprise. Really, really good collaboration between Ubisoft and Nintendo. So congratulations, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. You get the Rocket and Raygun Award for best strategy game of 2017. And remember, we've got lots of other categories for you to check out, as well as lots of other cool content for you to watch. If you dig our stuff, don't forget to hit subscribe, that little bell, and if you're so inclined, that sponsorship button too.